Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be talking about how to memorize algorithms faster and more efficiently. The first and most important thing I want to talk about are triggers. Now, what triggers are, they're technically a subset of algorithms. There are a small group of algorithm notation that help you memorize larger algorithms easier. An example is the sledgehammer, which goes something like this. On its own, it doesn't seem that impressive. It simply takes out this F2L pair and reverse sledge puts it back in. However, in algorithms such as this one, this TOLL, we start by doing this. As you can see, we end with a sledgehammer. So basically, most algorithms are composed of smaller triggers. Now, as an example, let's try to break down the Y perm into a set of smaller triggers so that it's easier to memorize. The Y perm that I prefer goes something like this. First, we start with a singular F move, like this. Next, we have a trigger. As you can see, we're simply doing a set of moves that may be repeated in other algorithms. Then we have yet another trigger. And finally, we have that same TLL case, which we can do like this. And as you can see, the Y perm is now broken down into different triggers. It's a good idea to be looking at the actual written algorithm when you're trying to separate an algorithm into subsets. Generally, when these algorithms are separated already, they're going to be grouped with parentheses. The next two things when it comes to memorizing algorithms faster and more effectively is practice and limitations. I'm sure all of you guys have heard of practice. In order to practice an algorithm, you simply have to repeat it over and over again until it works itself into your muscle memory. When you're trying to memorize an algorithm, it's not a good idea to be actually memorizing the out notation. For example, if you tell me to recite a T-perm, I probably couldn't pick out all of the single moves. I would simply tell you that it goes like this. That's a T-perm. Basically what happened is the algorithm went into my muscle memory so that I'm actually not generally memorizing each of the separate moves, but how all of the moves flow together. The other thing is limitations. You want to limit yourself to a number of algorithms that you can actually handle. When you're first memorizing, it may seem like you can memorize 10 algorithms. However, the next day, you might have already forgotten five of them. So you want to make sure you don't memorize too many algorithms per day. As your skill of cubing increases, you may be able to increase this number by a lot. But when you're just starting, it's a better idea to keep it smaller. So that's going to be all of the tips I have today to memorize algorithms faster and more effectively. I hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, if you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Goodbye.